Hey guys, I'm Colin with Fleet Feet Sports Chicago, and today I want to show you three unique ways that you can use your trigger point grid foam roller. Let's get rolling. The first exercise I want to cover is the side to side motion. You'll notice on your trigger point grid foam roller, you have these ridges here. These are for side to side motion as well as going back and forth. Most people will commonly use a foam roller strictly to go back and forth. However, if you are doing this and you pause on a hot spot or an adhesion or a place that's been particularly tight, go ahead and pause and breathe and relax into that spot and then begin rolling side to side. You might even feel your muscles kind of whip over each other and this is going to really get a deeper massage than you'll get by simply going back and forth. That's your first technique. The second technique I want to cover is called active release. Now, as a runner, we tend to get very tight in a lot of different places in our body, particularly in our glutes. There's a small muscle in your glute called your piriformis. Now, when I say glute, I mean your butt. So, we have our trigger point grid foam roller here. I'm targeting my piriformis here. Now, when I'm foam rolling along my piriformis, I'm doing just about maybe four, maybe five inches of rolling. And this is a great way to loosen off that piriformis. But say you're real tight and you want to take your rolling to the next level, go ahead and pause on a really hot spot or wherever you feel it tightest. And instead of rolling over your muscles, active release is going to let your muscles roll over the foam roller. So here I'm paused and now I'm going to expand my leg and contract and expand and contract and maybe even give a little bit of motion here on the foam roller and do this maybe 10 times you'll feel a huge difference by contracting and expanding and getting in your muscles in different ways than the foam roller will do simply by rolling back and forth. For our third unique foam rolling tip, we brought in Fleet Feet Sports Chicago owner, Dave Zimmer. For a foam roller, you don't need to be confined to just using it on your lower extremities. Use it any way you want in order to make it beneficial for yourself. So first thing I like to do with a foam roller is I like to use it for push-ups. I can get all the way down, it creates a little instability so I have to work a little bit harder in order to make sure that I'm doing a proper push-up. I also use it on my upper body, not just my lower body. As we're running, we want to make sure that our posture is fluid. So I use it on my sternum, on my ribs, and also on my upper back. When I do my upper back, I keep my rear end off the ground and my core engaged. This way I'm getting a full body workout as well. So, happy foam rolling.